Hi, I am Swati Jain. I am the UAE team lead for Rational Focal Point. This is a demonstration on integrating Rational Focal Point with the requirements management and change in configuration management applications of Rational Solution for Collaborative Lifecycle Management. Business needs are captured and prioritized using IBM Rational Focal Point. After business needs are approved, they are linked to the requirement and project management systems for elaboration, planning, development and delivery. This five part series of the demonstration shows how to configure the integration between Rational Focal Point and Rational Solution for Collaborative Lifecycle Management. This also shows how you can publish the approved business needs to the requirement management and change in configuration management applications and how to check the progress of the business needs. In the part one of this demonstration series, we set up a workspace, add members to the workspace and assign specific roles to the members. After installing Rational Focal Point, Start the Rational Focal Point application server and log in as an administrator. A user is assigned certain privileges to do tasks in the application. For this demonstration scenario, we will create two users, Tim Jeffs who has the global administrative privilege and Carl Riggs who has regular privileges. A workspace is a container for modules, views, elements and a common set of attributes. Rational Focal Point includes four pre-configured workspace templates that are based on best practices. They are IT Portfolio Management Workspace Template, Product Portfolio Management Workspace Template, Product Management Workspace Template and Application Portfolio Management Workspace Template. For this demonstration, we will create a workspace that is based on IT Portfolio Management Workspace template and name it as a sample project. We will assign Tim who has the global administrative privileges as the person responsible for managing this workspace. Users must be added as members to access workspaces. We'll add Tim and Carl as members to the sample project workspace and give them the workspace administrator and regular member rights.
The IT Portfolio Workspace template already has the predefined roles for the members of the workspace. We'll assign the role of PMO to Carl and assign Tim the role of the steering committee member.